Right. Were there any things that the intended parents wanted you to do other than the issue that was worked out with changing the kitty litter yeah. that were difficult to accept or that involved some further discussion? Is there anything that you remember? I think that when I had the, the 10 week spotting, we had um, the intended parents had discussed like, well, do we need to continue the medications for longer? It was just something that was sort of voiced casually between us. And um, so that was something that was raised at the doctor's visits. Of course, I would have done whatever the physicians had advised, mm -hmm. but based on um, the commonality of the subchorionic hemorrhage um, and the fact that it wouldn't really, they felt that it wouldn't really make a difference. The medications were not continued, um, but that was one thing that was suggested that would have been a little tricky. And, yeah. you know, um, the, the medications are not that much fun, you know, especially toward the end, um, the injections are not that much fun. So that would have been a little bit challenging, but that was really the only thing that I'm remembering. Okay. So you would say maybe the medications and just the whole regimen might be the most challenging aspect of this so far. Um, yeah, definitely. Think? All right. Yeah. So it's not, it wasn't anything in terms of personalities or emotion or the relationship. It was more just the preparation that was involved, the physical work. Yeah. I think, um, like I said, you know, the, um, the, the experience, you know, that they're bringing to the table obviously raises more concern, I think. And so naturally there's more things that they might be thinking of, like wanting to do everything to preserve this pregnancy. And so, but I don't think that, you know, those are, you know, necessarily personality factors or anything, just a function of their past experiences and totally understandable, you know, from their position. Right. 